All right, my friends, from far and wide, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Today we enter straight back into the NFL's Top 100 series with number 37 on the list, DeAndre Hopkins, a.k.a. Nuke. And uh, look, I'm not going to get into that story this year. I got into it last year. If you want to see what I thought about it and um, and what, you know, how he actually got that nickname, please, by all means, head back into my previous playlist, NFL's Top 100 Players of 2021, and find out, find out for yourself. Not only, not only that, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure his mum might be blind. She goes to the games with family and gets them to describe to her what he does. And after they do, she gives him, she, she, she says her opinion, she, she can see it, she can... She can clearly see it in her head, in her mind, and she she gives him shit. I mean, she she says I think she said something last year. It got me it got me really teared up. She said like, um, you know, why do you do that or or don't step out or something like that. I I can't exactly remember, but uh, it was a real tearjerker. Um, he's clearly a family man, and uh, and he's an absolute gun football player. So without further ado. Let's get into the video. I've always been a huge fan of, of DeAndre Hopkins, even before he became a teammate of mine. So I'm going to put D-Hop. Uh, just the things that he does, the kind of respect that he commands on the field, uh, it can be a defensive coordinator's nightmare. It's a drop of 29. But he's still... A defensive coordinator's nightmare. So cheers for that. Cheers for that, Chandler. You've always got something. You've always got something wise to say. He's definitely a great player. Real talented, great hands. Where's he at? He's at the. So he's at. So he's played one season at the Cardinals. Prior to that, it was the uh, Texans. Ugh! Talk about dead legs. That's a dead leg and a half. And that's a penalty. Throw the flag, ref. Get off me. He gets off oh, and he field. still takes the catch. Unbelievable. I assume that would have been a defensive penalty, and they would have declined it. Even if it's a 50-50 ball, a lot of times he comes down with it. It is caught for a touchdown by D-Hop. That dead leg was something else. D-Hop caught it. Despite playing in only 10 games, DeAndre Hopkins scored eight touchdowns. And it's caught in the back of the end zone by Hopkins. And he got his feet down for the... Ten games. Why is that? Let's find out. And at the same time, let's have a look at his stats. Nick Minnett. To all our readers in New Zealand, please don't scroll past this. This Wednesday, for the first time recently, we, humble, we humbly ask you to defend Wikipedia's independence. 98% of our readers don't give. They simply look the other way. And unfortunately, Wikipedia, at this point, I'm part of that 98%. Let's move on. 20, uh, 30 years of age, June 6th, 1992 is his birthday. 6 foot 1, 212 pounds. Went to Clemson, 2010 to 2012. Pick number 27 in the first round of the 2013 draft. Went to the Texans for seven seasons. He's been at the Cardinals for two. Three first-team All-Pro selections, two second-team All-Pro selections. Five Pro Bowl selections, with his last being in 2020. And he was the NFL receiving touchdowns leader in 2017. Came into the league with a 4.57 second 40-yard dash, a three-cone drill in 6.83 seconds, which is pretty elite. 36 inches in the vertical, 9 foot 7 on the board jump, and 15 reps on the bench press. Now let's move down to his 2021 season. So he played week one. I'm pretty sure he played all the way through to week 10. Suffered a hamstring injury, which took him out of the game for the next three games. Actually, that might not be right. But regardless, in week 14, he suffered a second injury, a torn MCL, and was placed on injury reserve on December 18th. He finished the season with 42 catches for 572 yards and eight touchdowns through 10 games. So he had two injuries, a hamstring injury, and then shortly after that, a torn MCL. So he was in the wars. He was in the wars, no doubt. Um, uh, and this is something I wasn't aware of. On May 2nd, 2022, the NFL announced that Hopkins would be suspended for the first six games of the season for a violation of the league's performance-enhancing drugs policy. 
Well, 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 as a bodybuilding fan, I know all about that. And I'd love to know more. Let's have a look at the news story. I'll get that up. But first and foremost, 136 career regular season games. 10,581 yards. So he actually he actually already had 10,000 receiving yards prior to last season. But he added 572 for good measure. Um, 68 receiving touchdowns. Only four rushing attempts in his entire career. That seems... That seems... I don't know. He's clearly an out-and-out receiver. Uh, longest rushing attempt of 12 yards. His longest catch being 76 yards for a touchdown in 2014. His longest catch last year in 2021 being a 55-yard reception. 10 fumbles, 7 lost. Not that that really matters. In the postseason, I tell you what, Houston were absolutely balling. Six games through four years, five years, sorry, five seasons, six games. Uh, 37 receptions for 446 yards and one touchdown. Well, let's hope he can add to that this year. All right, so you know what? I am going to run through this story just quickly. He was raised by a single mother, Sabrina Greenlee, with whom he had a strong relationship. He credits her for his success. She had two jobs throughout his childhood and worked at an automotive factory. In July 2002, she had a boiling she had a boiling concoction of lye and bleach thrown on her by Savannah Grant, age 24. Greenlee had caught her boyfriend at the time having an affair with Grant. The attack resulted... So a bit of a love triangle here. The attack resulted in the skin rapidly peeling off her neck, face and back. Her boyfriend picked her up, placed her in his vehicle and dropped her off at a nearby gas station. The gas station attendant called 911 and she was rushed to hospital where she was placed in a medically induced coma for three weeks and had skin graft applied to her face. She suffered burns over 17% of her body. Her attacker was ch which was charged with assault and battery with intent to kill and received a 20-year sentence. She has been incarcerated since 2003. Hopkins' mother, Sabrina Greenlee, was left completely blind as a result of this attack. And that goes back to what I said earlier. All right, guys, let's get back into the video. That is beyond belief, mate. Touchdown! What a catch! Ah, man. Oh, he got his feet down! Hopkins' numbers may have been down, but his highlight reel plays and respect from peers are still elite. Hopkins a great player, physical player. I mean, he's a guy that's initiating the contact. I mean, not many receivers, I feel, do that. Hmm, interesting point. Wow, DeAndre Hopkins broke the tackle. It looked like he was dead to rights. Hang on, let's have a look at that again. Receivers, I feel, do that. Off the left. Wow, DeAndre Hopkins oh, broke the tackle. Jump cut up the it middle. It looked like he was dead to rights. Stabbed the pig out of the air and brought it in for a touchdown catch. So that's someone that's, that's going to go up and get it and... Uh, Definitely does trying to make a top 10 play on you. Fourth and two on the Bears 20. Looks right, throws a deep ball right side in the end zone, and it's caught. Do they rule inbounds or out of bounds? Out of bounds, incomplete. Now the officials are having a Excuse conversation. Excuse me? Might they change the Yeah, call? take another look at that, mate, it's please. A touchdown. Touchdown. It's DeAndre Hopkins. He's going to be there or thereabouts. DeAndre Hopkins. I definitely think. <laughs> Here he is. Here he is again. He's back. Straight off the field. Into the studio. And, um. You know what? I'd absolutely love to see him on the list. I don't think we will, for whatever reason. Uh, this is. This is classic. This is. This is vintage. This is Dante Dayan. He's saying, hey, if I got a one-on-one, -on -one, let me get a hot <laughs> What would the what would this crew have said when he walks in there in his training gear? They'd probably have loved it. I would have. Because he gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities and he makes majority of them. DeAndre Hopkins. Oh, okay, mate. Well, not only is that a flag. Where's the fucking He's flag, mate? Pressed at the line of... Excuse me. He makes majority of them. DeAndre Hopkins was being pressed at the line of scrimmage. He well, that's the same that touchdown. into a fade. They don't like one-on-one -on -one matchups no more. Uh huh? I said they don't like one-on-one -on -one matchups anymore. His catch radius is crazy. He goes up, attacks the ball, high points it. Keep on going downfield on them. Keep on going downfield on them. 
Hopkins got behind his man. It's caught. Guess who's there? DeAndre Hopkins. What a great grab by one of the best to ever do it. Great hands. Um, he, he's a playmaker, a dog. Who's that guy? Hands. Um, LaVisca Chenault Jr. Jags wide receiver. Well, that's piqued my interest. I don't think he'd be on the list. At least not this year. But uh, with a guy like Trevor Lawrence at the helm, he might just get there. I suppose you've got to, you, you'd most probably, unless you're a guy like DeAndre Hopkins, you've probably got to have at least a thousand receiving yards to even have a hope of uh, of making the list. But all the best to him, and all the best to D Hop this year, this coming year. You know, hopefully he can stay healthy for the the 17 games, and um, you know, hopefully he can make it into the playoffs, because there's nothing worse than playing a full season of NFL football and and not making the playoffs. It's the same in the NBA. It's the same in the Super Rugby. You want to make the playoffs. You play those games. You play those round-robin games. You put your all into absolutely every single game just for the chance to make the playoffs. Nothing else. Nothing else matters. Anyways, guys, that was a bit of a rabbit hole for me. Um, it happens. He's a playmaker, a dog. He's and he looks like a really nice guy. Crazy. When it comes Same as this guy. Sure. I ain't going to lie, Marlon Humphrey. Anyways, um, in the next video, we're looking at a raven. Quarterback, Lamar Jackson. And uh, look, it'd be rude of me not to go and get his jersey, but I did I did wear it for a fair few videos there uh, on the list, so I'm not going to do that. But um, this should be an interesting one. You know, he's, uh, he's dynamite on the ground, and he's got a decent throw. We'll look into it. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.